Good morning again, brothers and sisters. I am yet with another video, and it's a continuation of my last video. So please uh, join me in the King James Version Bible, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So my brothers and sisters, some uh, I forget to mention to you in my last video, but that video was a little too long. Is that part two in spiritual warfare is that everything that you do, you must believe and trust in God's protection. If you're doing it and you're not trusting and you're not believing, it would not work. You must trust and believe in God that it will work. So you need to get, have, always have anointed olive oil in your home. And there's a prayer that I will put in the description box that you can pray um, to anoint your oil. And with this anointing oil, I put them on my windows and in front of the post of my door so that the witches, the, the witches, the warlock and the wizard cannot get into your home. Because if they get into your home, my brothers and sisters, they can wreak havoc on your home. So make sure that you always have consecrated oil and put them on your windows in front of your doors. Also anoint your family member heads. I anoint my head and my family member head every night anoint your family member head every night read psalms using the sword of the spirit which is the holy word of god and also that will help you i, I mentioned that on the first video and the power of prayers is of great significance in fighting of um, witchcraft and fighting our adversary the devil and you must again put on the full armor of god when you are getting attacks call out the blood of jesus christ so, my brothers and sisters, the blood of Jesus Christ comes in very important also in fight and spiritual warfare. The blood of Jesus is our testimony. We must make our declaration out loud by saying the blood of Jesus. We are appropriating it. We re are receiving it and making it our own. In Hebrews 10, 14, the blood of Jesus gives us the boldness to enter into the presence of God. Hebrews 12, 24, Jesus' blood cries out continually to God in heaven in our behalf. Ephesians 1, 7, Jesus' blood redeems us out of the hands of the devil. 1 John 1, 7, Jesus' blood cleanses us continually from all sin. And the blood of Jesus sanctifies us. So since the blood of Jesus Christ covers all our sins, protects us and delivers us, out of the hands of the devil we must as a body of christ learn how to claim it by faith again my brothers and sisters faith is extremely important in this so you must have faith that when you're doing it it will it, um that it will work because if you don't believe my brothers and sisters it would not work so the blood of jesus is also very important in fighting spiritual warfare because i remember when i used to get really bad attacks i used to plead the blood of jesus christ and call out the blood of jesus christ all the time and these um evil spirits will flee they will run and that is how my attacks ended so please remember to cry out the blood of jesus christ when you're being attacked and put on your full armor at all time but also Ask God to increase your faith because Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. So we must ask him to help us increase our faith. And above all, trust him. Trust the Lord because he is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. For those of you, my brothers and sisters on my channel, I welcome again my new subscribers. Please seek the Lord, repent, and turn away from sin if you don't already know him. He's on his way. He's coming. Raptor time is soon. Seek the Lord. God bless all of you and have a great day. Bye-bye.